EPA AAA meteorologist Bobby Martich here with your outlook for February 20th, 2024. It is Tuesday, and the Tuesday video forecast is proudly sponsored by Mark Damiani Painting Incorporated. Spring is just around the corner. Let them help you get your house ready for the outdoor season. How's the deck looking these days? Does it need a pressure wash and staining? Most likely it does. What about a fresh coat of paint on those faded shutters and front door? They can help you with any exterior painting you may need this year. They are family owned and operated with over 40 years in business. So you can't go wrong with their exceptional attention to detail and great customer service. Servicing the Southeast PA counties of Montgomery, Bucks, and Chester. Call them now to schedule a free estimate at the phone number above me here in the video, 484-571-9233. They are Mark Damiani Painting Incorporated, proud sponsor of the Tuesday video forecast. So we still have a trough over the region today. It's gonna to be with us through tomorrow. High pressure is actually right over top of the region today. So that means bright and sunny today. So another mostly sunny day today. We're gonna to call it partly cloudy here on uh, Wednesday, but it's still similar temperatures as you see above me. 38 to 44 today, 40 to 44, a little tighter spread, but I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, here on Wednesday, the trough does begin to lift out, but it's still over us with high pressure control once again. Uh, then we're going to have a cold front moving toward the region here on Thursday. I do think we have uh, most of the day Thursday is going to be dry. But we'll have increasing clouds and then a chance for showers late in the day that will continue overnight. A little area of low pressure moving along that boundary will bring rain into Friday morning. Might linger into early afternoon, and then I think it's just uh, slowly de and gradually de decreasing clouds very late in the day on Friday. Uh, that clouds might linger all the way up to sunset, though. We'll see. It's going to be a timing issue there, but uh, it does stop raining at some point during the afternoon, and then we will clear this out. This is not a tremendous amount of rain, but it is rain nevertheless, and there's no surprises with this. This is not going to all of a sudden turn into... Oh no, we have a snowstorm. Uh, the cold air is not catching up to this in time. It will come in here for Friday night and Saturday, however. And you can look, I can show you the GFS doing the same thing. It just has rain coming in here, uh, rain showers, and that goes into, again, uh, early Friday afternoon. And then it starts to clear out after that point. So no surprises. Cold air comes in after that. And uh, we're going to be back uh, a lot cooler here on Saturday. Uh, back with, despite mostly sunny skies. We are expecting mostly sunny skies here on Saturday, and then we're going to partly cloudy both Sunday and Monday. But the big thing is this tr this trough is rather transient. It's a very deep trough, big, deep trough here, right? Uh, but this is quickly moving out, and that's going to uh, lead the way for some improvement here on Sunday with the temperatures not quite all the way there yet. Trough is in process of lifting out, but the temperatures do recover to the uh, middle 40s, and then we really turn on the uh, the temperatures a little bit by the time we get to next Monday. Uh, temperatures will start increasing here as the height lines, you see these, uh, these red lines coming in here. These are the warm height lines coming in to the region. That's going to give us temperatures in the 50s by the time we get to Monday. So starting next week, I know we have a little transient warm-up here at the end of the week ahead of that front. So we're kind of like uh, mid-upper 40s here at the end of this week, and then we go back down Saturday uh, Sunday is still kind of like near average or maybe very slightly above. And then Monday, starting Monday next week and going forward, probably for a while, we're going to be in above average temperature uh, pattern. And that is going to go through most likely, uh, except for some, you know, there might be some ebbs and flows in there. But for the most part, that entire period through at least the first week of March looks like it's above average. And uh, we're probably not dealing with any wintry precipitation in that entire time frame. We're going to continue to watch that for something. Uh, but if you have anything from this point forward, it's most likely a thread the needle opportunity, which means it has to be perfectly timed coming in at night, most likely. And it has to be a perfect track for that to happen. Uh, it can happen in an overall milder pattern. We just saw that last Monday night and Tuesday. It wasn't really the best pattern then, but yeah, we ended up with a decent amount of snow. That was because of timing and the track of the system, some dynamic cooling processes. So it can still happen uh, in a bad pattern uh, if for snow, but uh, you know it's less likely, of course, from a probability standpoint. But we'll continue to watch that here over the next couple of weeks. But I don't see anything here in the near future that we have to worry about or be concerned about at this time. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Martyrs. That is your outlook for February 20th, 2024. Have a great Tuesday.